it was popping. So I'm back at the 2005's um, Ram 1500 5.7 and we're changing the spark plugs, coils, and wires. I know that was a mouthful. So step number one, disconnect this battery, put something in the way like that. I did all of the prep work, so I know that's not useful and it is ridiculously too much. You might need a 10 millimeter long, 10 millimeter short, and just take off the 10 millimeter bolts that holds every single coil pack, which is eight, four on this side, four on that side. Then you're gonna also have wires because there are two spark plugs each cylinder. So you will pull those out each side. Then it connects to an opposite coil pack which you disconnect from the other side so you do that and i thought i was going to have to do this one at a time and, and be gruesome but uh luckily dodge just designed this to come off as one one solid piece so it's pre-wired which is nice and cute so uh two on this side three on the other side so what I like about GM and Dodge is that they do simple numbering. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, V8. So now um, it's gonna be some, some steps that a lot of people don't take. Uh, before you take out spark plugs, I like to use compressed air, so. Next, you spray air inside of each hole. Now that's something a lot of people don't do. Gotta shut my mouth so I don't get rust. Okay. So next step is to get the spark plug socket, put it in each one, take them out, Spray air again, um, put the new spark plugs. He chose uh, the G power. Um, but man, don't quote me on this. These might even be copper. Like I know it says, well they say platinum, so let's just say they platinum, but I know NGK makes a lot of copper joints. So we're gonna just put these in there. So stay tuned. These are the last four spark plugs from the ram these are the new ones this is going to be the old wires these are the new ones the last two good coil packs is about to go in these are the four on the driver's side that have went in these are the two that are in two more to go in the back four plugs time to go 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 uh Duralast puts this weird, this weird green stuff. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that is their version of dielectric grease, but I just put dielectric grease on it still. Uh, Anti-seize on the plugs, torque them down by hand. And uh, typically, listen, whenever you're working on somebody's car, just do what they ask you to do. But since this is my friend car, uh, I'm gonna clean out the throttle body for him. He ain't gonna mind. So I'll take care of my boy. All right, so uh, stay tuned to next time. All right, YouTube. So just to take a quick second to admire the hard work, new coil packs, new wires. Everything has been wired correctly. One, three, five, seven, two, four, six, eight. And I don't know if you guys could remember back when I, uh, I told you, you know, this is my friend's truck. So I was gonna clean out the throttle body for free for him. So uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of love. I'm finna button up this. Yeah, I'm still recording. So I'm about to button up this cold air intake, start her up, let the oil get warm and just be great, man. Today is gonna be 
a very fulfilled day. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff done. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff done. Oh man, I don't know why it does that sometimes. I'm gonna get a lot of stuff done. 16 spark plugs. I'm gonna plug you guys back up, take this off, get the oil from down there. Call it a wrap. So make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and listen, I know I didn't show you step by step how to do it, but this was a terrible job. This job was extremely tough. I don't know what it was about this side, but this brake booster was in the way. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, like that, man. Just stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned for the next video too. So.